Insta snap. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. What's going on? Little question of the day. Thank you for everyone who sent through their questions last night. I, I have a lot now. Next few days, we're gonna be doing one uh, every day. This, by the way, here is um, chocolate dust from my cappuccino this morning. Okay, let's start. Today we're gonna be talking about patience. I got a question last night, I'll post it in the next snap. The question is how do you generate more patience? How do you be more patient? So you know the phrase, patience is a virtue. What about when you're in traffic and you wanna murder everyone in front of you in the traffic queue? Here we go, this is your plane of your mind. This is your past, that's your, where's the focus, come on. This is the past, come on you fucking thing. That's the past, that's the future, that's positivity, that's negativity. More benefits, more drawbacks, right? As Martini describes, love is the synthesis and synchronicity of all complementary opposites. The synthesis and synchronicity of positives and negatives at the same time, right? There is the love point. The synthesis of past and future is presence. This here is love and presence. When you're not up here in la-la land running fantasies, positive fantasies, and you're not down here in hell sort of running uh, resentments, and you're not running future imaginations, you're not drawing on past memories, you move toward the middle. This is a virtue. Moving toward the middle, that's your soul state, and that's where your wisdom resides. The more up you go, the more future you go, the more past you go, the more down you go, the more crazy and volatile you are, the more you move away from the center, the more of a vice that you have. This is where patience becomes an issue because you're always wanting to move into the future. So the people who are chronically doing the lack of patience, you gotta ask why? What do you think the future's gonna hold that's more positive than the present? What are you trying to escape now in the present? Are you fulfilled with your life? Do you have love and gratitude for yourself? I found that the people who can't bear themselves, they can't stand being in themselves, they sometimes lack patience, they wanna escape into some positive fantasy la la land in the future. He's stuck in traffic. Fuck, I just can't wait to get out of this situation, get to work. And they get to work. Fuck, I hate work. I can't wait to get out of this situation and get back home again. And they get back home again. Fuck, I hate this place too. I can't wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a brighter, better day. You can blame the traffic and blame the job and blame the work and blame the home life and the relationships and the friends and the government. You can do all the blame that you want, but eventually, sooner or later, you're gonna have to come to the to the realization that you're trying to escape part of yourself. You're trying to escape your life. And when you're ready to admit that and face that and perhaps do something about that, then you're ready to go and do some learning. The science exists to get you back into the center. I've mentioned it a million times, breakthrough experience. A, the science exists to get you back into the center. A more practical exercise that you might wanna go and employ is go and write a list of the 20 biggest achievements that you've ever achieved, the biggest goals that you've ever achieved. Write down all of your biggest achievements and then write down what happened after you achieved them. I guarantee 100% of those achievements, you reached them, you acclimatized to that level of achievement, to that level of lifestyle, whatever it was, you acclimatized to the relationship, perhaps that was a goal that you got, you acclimatized to it, then you had a new goal. Welcome to life. That's the game of life. You go for the goal, you get the goal, you get used to that, that's your new field of resonation. And then you go for the next goal, you go for the next thing. That's the whole game of life. You're never gonna stop doing that. If you're really, really impatient about something happening, <laughs> just think about it. What happens when you go and get it? And you, you're just gonna be in the same situation anyway, waiting for the next goal, you'll be waiting for the next thing. You may as well go with the flow and enjoy the journey and not be in any big rush. Always remember, becoming successful, succeeding in something is one thing. Becoming a success is one thing. Enjoying the success is another thing. Very few people will go and enjoy their success because they tend not to go with the flow. They're in some kind of rush to get some, hey my God, look, look, golly gosh, there's a pelican guy. Hello, look at him, having a little swim down there. As I was saying, people tend not to enjoy their success because they're in some kind of rush. They're impatient, trying to get someplace that's not here now. And with that mindset, they'll never get there. It's a never-ending chase. They'll never, they'll never be fulfilled.